Hi, I'm Jenna Byrne and I use mixed media art journaling to express my Christian faith. And I'm doing a page here in just 10 minutes to show you how you can take a little bit of time out with God to receive from him. So, I have some writing on my page. Don't read it too closely. Um, yesterday wasn't a great day for me. I think there was quite a lot of pent up frustration maybe from being in a caravan all week. Um, and it just all bubbled over yesterday. Um, just felt overwhelmed with coming back. I've got a really busy week. It's my uh, little daughter's birthday. Um, and I've also got a few kind of big emotional hurdles to get through um, without going into details. And uh, yesterday it just felt like it all got too much. I felt overwhelmed and um, angry, uh, angry at my husband, angry at myself mainly. Um, and yeah, so what do you do when you feel like that? Like the obvious answer is to pray, isn't it? Um, what is prayer? Like, how do we come to God with all that yucky stuff? It's just amazing that we have a God who allows us into his presence just as we are. And, you know, allows us to express those kind of emotions that really, like, no one else wants to see, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, it's like the worst bit of you. And yet we can be so utterly, completely open and honest with our God because of what Jesus did. Because Jesus has taken away all the bad stuff. So even when we have a bad day, uh, we come dressed in robes of white, we come clean, um, even though we feel dirty, we feel yuck, um, but we have permission to come into the Holy of Holies. So, um, yeah, so I, I did this writing yesterday just to kind of get my emotions out onto the page. And what I wanna do now is just paint over them really in some fashion to offer them up to God. I'm feeling much better today. Um, I'm feeling like I want to move forward from where I was yesterday and so that's what this page is going to be about. So I had the idea to draw these flowers on the page and paint around them so that the text is still visible on the petals. And on one level, I was thinking, well, that's not what God does. Actually, God completely wipes out our sins. Um, so no trace of them is left at all. But in going through the process of making these mistakes, if we do it right, if we have the self-awareness to stop and reflect and repent, then it's not as if the sin never happened because we have the opportunity to grow through that process, through the process of making mistakes and understanding what we've done wrong and asking for the Holy Spirit's help in moving forward uh, from that place. So I think that's um, why I wanted to draw some florals on this page to represent that grace um, praying that this wouldn't be a negative 
uh, page, but actually that God would use it to heal me and grow me. This design was actually inspired by a page uh, that I saw on one of the Bible journaling groups that I'm part of on Facebook. Um, unfortunately, I am a member of so many groups, I cannot find uh, the post, the original post that inspired me. Um, so I can't give her credit, um, but you know who you are. So um, thank you for your inspiration today. I loved uh, your lovely page of flowers with um, writing underneath. I'm adding in these little green hearts, which are leaves, I guess, and tendrils, which are part of the plant, but also representing God's love, which is the thing that makes us grow, isn't it, really? We receive his love and therefore we can leave our pass behind and walk forward into new growth. I'd written on the page originally, note to self, try harder. And that is really the human response, isn't it? To, to making mistakes, it's like, uh, try again, try harder. But I thought that's not the Jesus response. Um, the Jesus response is grace, is to receive God's grace for uh, what's gone wrong. And uh, so I, I crossed that out and I wrote, Jesus has it covered, which I thought went nicely with the fact that I was using this process to cover over my writing from before. So that's all I have time for on this page, although I may continue to work on it later. Um, yeah, I really recommend this process, guys. If you are struggling with any sort of difficult emotion, anger or anxiety um, or stress, just to write it out, um, to get those feelings out onto the page and then either immediately or at a later date to paint over those words and use that meditative painting process to give up those feelings to God and give him space to minister to you. I hope that blesses you. Um, if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's so helpful for me and it means that you'll be kept up to date with these videos. Okay, God bless everyone and I will see you next week.